pretty good signal here from uh, WWV time signal from uh, Boulder, Colorado. And it's interesting because since I wiggled the tuning knob here and heard a few, uh, you know, some scratching in the, the, the speaker here, radio has pretty much stabilized. It's more stable, drifts much less, uh, and actually the uh, tuning is much easier. So um, I guess that um, if you have one of those, and by the way, people are saying, I got the Grandig one, I got the Ethon one, I got the, they're the, exactly the same radio. The, the only thing that changes the plaque here. And um, so the drifting on the first videos was due to this tuning dial that was kind of loose or something. The contact wasn't right. And as I played with it quite a lot during the evening, it seems to have kind of stabilized. So um, I guess if I have a pointer or a uh, or something to that I wanted to say to any owners of the S350 DL and maybe the S350 also is that um, use the radio because if you leave it, you know, for more than a year with not nothing, it uh, kind of has contact problems. And by the way, that's um, a problem that's on many radios. Radios that are unused, a lot of the switches, a lot of the contacts um, at some point be become a problem. And, you know, I often hear people saying, well, you know, I use it less so that I don't wear it out. Well, sometimes not using it is wearing it more than actually using it because every time you turn the knob, well, that contact is kind of somewhat clean, if you want, because... The, there's a physical access, a physical contact in the switch. And uh, by leaving it alone and not using it, uh, sometimes it corrodes or, you know, it, dust settles on it and so on. So, uh, really, kind of fun evening, actually. I was uh, not sure I would enjoy my evening, but I'm actually having a lot of fun in this evening with this uh, S350DL. Uh, that that you know I'm pretending to be uh, to use as my main radio because I'm pretending pretending that this is my only radio actually so a uh, good signal tonight from uh, WWV in uh, Boulder Colorado on 10 megahertz You notice the uh, kilohertz uh, starting to flash it's uh, it means that it's kind of a little off frequency it's kind of in between two frequencies so it's actually flashing while it's trying to it's moving from one frequency to the other and that's why you saw it actually go down to nine 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 a slight drift and uh, now I readjusted and you see that the kilohertz has stopped flashing uh, kind of telling us that we're Pretty stable and pretty close to the 10 megahertz frequency that's supposed to be tuned here. One of the uh, interesting ways of this radio to let you know that the frequency stability isn't right. Uh, 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 uh. 